Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I'm the author of the blog, The Simple Home Place. And today I wanna to share with you how to rewire a lamp. Before we get into the tutorial of how to rewire a lamp, I just wanna talk a little bit about this lamp and why you might want to rewire a lamp. So I found this at the thrift store for $5. It is a really nice and heavy lamp. I don't know if it's brass, but it is a heavier metal lamp. And again, $5. And a lot of times when you find lamps at places like thrift stores, garage sales, um, they might come with the original wiring. And you don't know how old that lamp is typically, and so you might want to rewire it just to be safe. Now, the cord that came with this was definitely old and it didn't fit properly into the socket. So that is why I chose to rewire this lamp. You can get a really nice lamp for a fraction of the cost when you go to thrift stores and things. And by rewiring it, you know that it is safe and everything is good to go so that you can feel good about having that piece in your home. So that is the inspiration behind this video. I will break everything down step-by-step step so that you can see the entire process. And I'll leave a couple of resources down below so that you can check them out if you have some other questions that I probably can't answer because I'm not an electrician. I am not an expert in this field, but if I can do it, so can you. Um, so let's get into the tutorial and I'll break everything down. Before I do start, I want to preface this by saying that you should make sure you do not have this plugged in at all while you are working on it. You do not want those those wires to be electrified you don't want to be shocked so just keep it unplugged until the very end when you're ready to test and make sure that you are following the instructions step by step on your rewire kit and following along on this video so that you're making sure that we're getting the wires in the correct because there is a neutral wire and there is a hot wire and you have to make sure that you are properly threading those and everything. I will break everything down in the video. I just wanted to preface everything by saying that. So now let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do to disassemble our lamp is to remove this, which is called a harp. And hopefully you can see that there's these two little things that slide up and down. What you're going to do is just pull those up and then squeeze it and it'll come right off. Now we're going to work on removing the base where the light bulb would sit and where all the wiring is. So there's this little thing here that held on to that harp and we're just going to loosen that counterclockwise and now you can see that we've exposed the wires. Then we are going to peel off this little felt piece on the bottom. Usually you can just use your hands to peel it off. It comes off very easily. And we wanna do this because we're going to pull the old wires out and put the new wires in through the bottom. I hope this goes without saying, but make sure that your lamp is not plugged in while you're working on it. This is a little bit tricky, so I'm just gonna use a little screwdriver just to pry open this part and loosen it up a tad, we are going to be replacing all of this. Okay, there it is. Here's a closer shot of it. So you've got the silver screw. And of course they're both silver on this one for some reason, but you should have a brass and a silver screw. And then you've got this knot that's tied and that's important. So we're going to take off these wires. Just going to loosen both of these screws. And then we should be able to pop off that wire. And now we've taken off this whole section and that includes our switch. Okay, so now we are going to undo this knot. So 
So now we've got our two wires that are exposed and now we should be able to pull them out the bottom. So I'm just going to finish unscrewing this, pop that off and take this, those two pieces, So now, what we should be able to do is start pulling that out. So now we have our huge, big cord. So we've got the cord completely removed, the old cord, and now we are going to rewire it. And so I have this kit that I purchased on Amazon. I will link it down below so you can check it out if you're interested in it. Um, you can get these anywhere, like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards probably has them if you're in the Midwest, um, or Amazon. They're all about the same price. It's going to run you, I think, around $20 or so. But this comes with everything that you need. It even has some like decorative pieces, which we may or may not use. Um, but yeah, and then it also has instructions. So I am going to go ahead and show you how to put the new cord in. Okay. This part off. Part. Now you've got your lamp base, which if you wanted it to be a smaller lamp, you could do that. But this is going to make it a lot easier. To thread these wires up through. I'm going to add some Electrical tape. And try to thread this through again. Success. Now that we've got our lamp mostly put back together, it's time to focus on the wires, which is the most important part. So I, here is a close up of the two wires that you'll have, and I'm going to reiterate this in a second, but the one on the left is smooth, and that is your hot wire. The one on the right has ridges, and that is your neutral wire, and that's going to be important here in a minute. The next step is going to be to tie an underwriter's knot. And I do have a video linked down below that you can check out that'll break this down step by step for you. It's fairly easy to do. You just have to do it slow and you will get it. The purpose of this is to create basically a stopper so that at any time the cord will not get pulled out the bottom. Okay, so we've got our ribbed, which is our neutral wire. And then this 
smooth one is our hot wire. Now we're going to look on here. We've got a silver wire or a silver screw and a brass screw. We are going to connect the neutral wire to the silver and the hot to the brass. So I'm going to start by unscrewing this a little bit. Neutral wire. I just like to use my pliers to help get that wire around the screw. And then we're just going to use a screwdriver to tighten it. And that will create that length that you need to electrify your light bulb. Then you just want to repeat the same process for your hot wire. And remember, the neutral wire goes to the silver screw. The hot wire goes to the brass screw. Then all we're going to do is pull the wires from the bottom to make sure that the underwriter's knot is at the very bottom of the socket and that where we have the wires attached is sitting nicely in that bottom portion. And then we're just going to put that top portion, I don't know exactly what it's called, it's part of the three-way socket, I guess it's a sleeve, and you just want to push that down to secure it. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I am going to put in a light bulb. I got these Edison bulbs. Because my thought with this is to leave off the lampshade, so we'll see how it looks. But I've got this, it's a 60 watt bulb, and we're gonna screw it in and plug it in and see how we did. Okay, moment of truth. We did it! Super easy. It was a little bit of trial and error. Um, the lamp that I had remade a while back, I didn't rewire it, but I took everything apart. So it was kind of a similar process and that was much easier to thread that wire through. This one, because it's so tall, was a little bit more difficult, but we did it. The very last step would be to put this little felt piece back on the bottom and that just covers everything up and helps so you're not scraping your surface when you're moving your lamp around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then our lamp will be complete. All right, so thanks for sticking with me. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. I am by no means an expert and if you choose to rewire a lamp, I hope that you will do your own research along with this video just to make sure that you're being safe. When you're rewiring, make sure that it is not plugged in. You do not want to shock yourself and follow the instructions that come with the new rewiring kit. Now you probably saw that I reused some of the parts that I already have. And the reason for that was that um, some of the components that came with the new rewire kit did not fit on to this lamp. And that is okay because I was able to reuse parts that don't really affect the wires in any way. So everything that goes along with the wires is new and safe. And so I'm really excited about that. As always, I will have everything linked down below so that you can check that out. It'll include the rewire kit that you can find on Amazon, as well as a link to a really great video that'll show you step-by-step -step how to do that underwriter's knot. I tried my best to show you, but that really breaks it down. It's very simple, but it takes some figuring out to make sure that the loops are great and good. Um, and then I'll also have a link to the blog post that goes along with this video so that you can see step by step if you prefer to learn that way or you just want a reference. But again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time to be with me today. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.